Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am so excited to get to share with you another box from Artsa that has been sent to me for review. This is an amazing box from the Holy Land that features beautiful products from amazing makers and artisans. And of course we get to hear the stories behind them, which is the most special part in my personal opinion. There are two different tiers for their quarterly lifestyle subscription. It's really an experience. It's a cultural education educational box that you can definitely share with your entire family. But of course for this season they are doing a Christmas box. So I think this one actually came out in November but I do think you still have time to get it shipped for you in time for the Christmas season. So let me just tell you a little bit more about Artsa before we get into this actual box. So the regular quarterly subscription is $74.99 and then they have their premium edition which usually includes one or two extra items, exclusive items often made just for the box and that is $94.99. Now I do have an affiliate link and a code for you. Noel25 should get you 25% off which I think is pretty darn awesome but I will leave all of the information, any updates that I might have in the description box below. That's where you can always find all kinds of codes and coupons and links and of course you can always ask me questions in the comments or even on my DMs on Instagram. So this one says the Holy Land delivered celebrating Christmas miracles. I've really enjoyed getting to learn about the entire region because they've been focusing on different areas um, but of course I love the Christmas box so so much last year we got some gorgeous olive wood ornaments that are just gonna be something really special for me to unpack every year when I am decorating my Christmas tree so inside again Holy Land delivered inside so you could consider this a Christian box because they definitely have scripture on some of the items but if anyone is just interested in this area and supporting these local artists. I do think this is a good box, like I said, that can be enjoyed by the entire family. So they always have this sort of bound uh, set of cards. So we get some beautiful postcards. So for example, here is one. This is the Garden Tomb from Jerusalem. And then they tell us a bunch of information about it on the back. We also always get a recipe and often some of the ingredients are the included items. This is for crinkle carob cookies. Uh, that looks amazing. And then of course they have the recipe on the other side. Sounds so good. I actually love carob. I'm one of those weird kids that totally loved the carob chips and people will be like, those don't taste like chocolate. I'm like, close enough. They taste delicious. And then they have individual cards telling you about the different makers and artisans as well as their story on the back. So this is really cool. Oh, this is like a this is like a quiz. It's like guess the Holy Land and you have to guess where these images are from. How interesting. I don't know that we'll get around to that, but maybe. So we have this one and of course it tells us their name and then the product that is featured inside. And then on the back we do have their story, which sometimes I have time to read all about it and sometimes I don't. So here are our four sort of artisan or maker um, cards for this time around. And then of course they do also include sort of a cheat sheet. Oh, it says your Christmas journey. So this is our open overview card. So I guess we're getting items from all over. So that's nice. All over Israel. On the back they just kind of give us the uh, quick rundown of those items and it does say what the premium subscriber additional gift is this time. Here is what I'm calling our placemat because I've always thought that these beautiful sort of enlarged postcards, these images would be great to laminate and have as placemats in your home. So that is just stunning. It says, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Shalom, dearest Artsa family. And then on the back, it does say a bunch more. We have a nice scripture from number six. So here is what some other of the images look like, of course. And there is an additional letter in here. So let me see. I'll have to decide which one to read to you because again, there's a lot of text in here. Dearest friend, thank you. We are blessed that you are a part of the Arts of Family and we're excited to continue on this journey through the Holy Land together. What a beautiful image there. I mean, all of these I feel like can be framed. So on the back we have all of this information. So let me see. I will just go ahead and read a little bit. It says, This Christmas season we've curated a carefully handpicked Christmas blessings box. This golden box will carry you on a journey across four of the cities that played pivotal roles in the life of Jesus, beginning in Bethlehem where Jesus was born, then traveling up north to Nazareth and the Galilee, and finally winding up the hills to end your journey in the holy city of Jerusalem. We have carefully chosen artists and charities, each of whom complements your journey through these four cities, each of whom has lovingly produced 
exclusive and magnificent gifts designed to give you a taste of Israel. I love that so much. I'm excited. So it's like a journey within a journey. So let me read this short story to you though from Itai Arts as founder. It says, in Jaffa, while scouring the town for its finest products for our Arts a Box, my team and I met Shakar, a remarkably convivial man and talented perfumer. The moment we entered his workshop, we felt ourselves lost in a unique world of exquisite scents and striking aromas. We were made welcome with a warm Bruchim Habayim Shaver, which I don't know how to say I can't read Hebrew. Welcome, my friend. As we exchanged stories, we told Shakar that we wanted to work together with him in creating a scent for Artza. Shakar loved the idea and immediately started running around his workshop gathering perfumes that he felt best captured the scent of his city. A short while later, as we were about to leave, Shakar pulled me aside and with tears in his eyes told me, you have just saved my business. He explained that he'd already closed one of his stores that year and that his business was struggling to regain the sales it had seen prior to COVID. He went on to explain that because of the order we had just placed, we had saved his business. Overwhelmed, I responded that it was not me who had saved his business, rather it was our friends and subscribers who had collectively saved his business and countless others. Namely, that it was you, dear subscriber, who had saved this man. It is through your direct support that these small businesses and their owners can survive and flourish. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just warm your heart? That is the that's the most touching story. I'm glad we took a few moments to read that because that is what subscription boxes can do no matter where the items are coming from. They can really make a difference in the lives of the people behind these small businesses, the subscription boxes themselves, and then also the people who are creating these gorgeous products for you. So, all right, you guys, with I like almost started like tearing up there. So inside we have the rest of our items all nestled inside and I will do my best to uh, give you as much detail as I can but wow that was just so heartfelt and heartwarming. Uh, the first thing I see you guys is something that is edible. What a beautiful package too. It's Fenster's Toffee. It's a lavender toffee though. What a beautiful package right? So it says this is um I see a couple of lavender things in here which I personally love. It says mouthwateringly delicious toffee produced by Oded with the help of young adults with Down syndrome. Oh, more amazing stories, you guys. Let me see if I can find a card for this one. So yes, we have, here is Oded Fenster, lavender toffee with, it says have it with a hot cup of coffee as a midday snack. So here is an image of him. Let me go ahead and read to you about this. It says, after playing basketball professionally in Israel, Oded Fenster decided to follow another dream to become one of Israel's best artisanal chocolate makers. 18 years ago, he flew to Belgium to hone his craft. Each of his chocolates, toffees, and marzipans is handmade with love, together with a staff that includes young adults with developmental challenges, Down syndrome, or autism. For Artsa, Oded crafted a special Mediterranean lavender toffee, which uses Mediterranean lavender to complement the creamy taste of toffee and combines for a sweet and tasty snack you'll be reaching for again and again. With each bite of toffee, I hope that you remember the incredible team of young adults with special abilities that lovingly made every piece. Oh my goodness, you guys. So it's uh, salted toffee. I'm, I want to open it, but I also like don't want to open it because I know that I'll like eat it instead of sharing it with everyone. Um, so they're individually wrapped. We do have a few of them. I actually like uh, culinary lavender. So what a special story that's. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> you guys, if you can still get your hands on this box, I think this is such a beautiful gift to give to someone, even if you don't necessarily get to have it for the actual Christmas holiday, like you are still supporting these businesses. Ooh, to go along with your toffee, Israeli Winter Nights Herbal Tea Blend. Look at how big of a canister of this tea that we got, you guys. So it says, this is a Bedouin tea blend. This thousand year old traditional tea blend is from a family run business just outside of Nazareth, which uses Israel's finest locally grown herbs and spices. Um, that looks amazing. <laughs> Let me see. And you guys know I get a lot of tea, but this one makes me so excited. So I don't have an individual card for this one, but let's see what it says. It says, cleanse me with high sup and I will be clean. Psalm 51, seven, close your eyes and inhale the sweet aroma. Picture yourself sitting in the shade of a palm tree in Israel 2000 years ago. You are drinking the same blend of herbs that Israelites would have enjoyed in the ancient period of the Bible. These three biblical herbs, sage, hyssop and zuta have been ingrained in the land's cuisine and consciousness for two millennia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that right, but wow, that is so special. We got a little white box, you guys. This could be, I don't know. So, oh yes, this is exciting. We got another beautiful um, ornament. This is a nativity ornament, you guys. 
olive wood. So we have the Star of David shape and then you can see, oh, it's even signed or it's not signed. It actually just says Bethlehem on it. So let's see if I have any more information. Hand carved from olive trees that have been locally grown for over 150 years, produced by a third generation locally run Bethlehem family business. That is so beautiful. And now I can add that to my collection. I am super duper excited. Let me see. So we do have some information. So this is from George Chatra says decoratively hung on your wall or Christmas tree. So the family Chatara story, it says in 1987, George Chatara, a descendant of an olive wood carver started working where his job was to create spiritually meaning meaningful olive wood masterpieces, which come from the historical olive tree founded in the Holy Land. George found that he was able to create stunning, intricate carvings that portray meaningful stories from the Bible and the Holy Land. Let me see if you can see that nativity scene. His work illustrates the stories of the Bible in many ways, including Christmas ornaments like the ones Ger Gerige, George, <laughs> uh, specially handcrafted for Artsa. These Christmas ornaments are made exclusively from 400 year old olive trees. This lovingly hand carved ornament is a gift from Chatra's heart to yours. I hope that no matter where you are from, having it on your tree or in your home will be a blessing and the representation of one of the holiest places in the world. That is so, so special, you guys. All right. I have to keep going though, because we, we have a lot to see. So this is Alma Soap. It says, pamper and nourish your skin with this rich body butter. Oh, it's body butter, not soap. So the soap, soap is the company name. So here's this gorgeous box. I like already, I got really excited and I took it out of the box already. So body butter, you guys, you know, I'm always about body butter over a uh, soap or a scrub or anything. So let's see, this is from Adi and Oren. Um, so it's the Winter Nights Lavender Body Butter. This is the image, you guys, so cool. Alma is the firstborn daughter to Adi and Oren Leva Levi. Adi searched for the market for organic and all natural cosmetic products she would feel safe using on her daughter. When she didn't find anything pure enough for her baby, she decided to create it herself. Adi learned aromatherapy and started to create all natural soaps, baby salve, a lot body lotions and more in her home kitchen. They were so good that all her friends and neighbors started to ask for them. At that point, Alma Soap was born. Alma Cosmetic Products is just like home food. When you use something your mother made, you also get a small piece of her loving and caring soul inside of it, says Adi. For Artsa, they made a special winter edition of their fabulous body butter. It contains olive oil that they made from the olive trees in their backyard, Mediterranean lavender, and many other rich and fine blends of essential oils and butters. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. So it's a nice thick body butter. It's not um, super lotion-y. Um, it's gonna be very enriching. I can smell it already. Very like calming and soothing as well. So let me put that off to the side. And I love that it came in this nice little gift box as well. So I'm not gonna use it yet because I might uh, share that with someone. So I'm very excited about that one. Okay, we got a jar of something. We do get a lot of cool stuff. Now Artsa also has a very active Facebook community, which is really nice when you are attempting some of the recipes uh, to get some tips from uh, pro cooks and uh, bakers. So, but this is definitely, I'm guessing it's some kind of ingredient because it's in a heavy glass jar. Ooh, conscious carob syrup. So it says that it's actually vegan too. So that's cool. It says a uniquely Israeli sticky spread accompanied with a special Israeli Christmas recipe. Those lovely uh, cookies we saw. It says made by a collective that works with and supports Jews, Christians, and Muslim women together. We love to hear that too, you guys. So how cool, a carob syrup. I'm sure there's all kinds of things that you can do with it. So it says Sindiana fair trade carob syrup is a unique natural product made by Arab farmers using traditional methods. The carob's rich taste and distinct benefits lend it an honored position among the traditional food products. Ooh, this is another one that we have a card for us. The Isra candle from Seal of Galilee and Tiberias. So it is handmade in Israel and it also came in a lovely little gift box. I'm trying to be better, you guys, about not just rushing into things. So this is from Goren Sarid. Oh, how neat, you guys. So I opened it up. It's like a topographical map. So it is a topographical Galilean candle. So let me read to you about this. It says, during Goren's military training, he studied the Israeli landscape using topographical maps. He found that while the maps were useful, they lacked a certain depth of information. He began experimenting, creating miniature terrains using a 3D printer. The printed maps gave a sense of connection to the land that isn't conveyed on paper, and he wanted to share this feeling. Goren found that candles are a great medium, connecting earth, water, and fire into one. They allow you to get a sense for the landscape and deeper connection to the land. How amazing. This 
Sea of Galilee candle Goran created shows one of the most significant water sources in the land of Israel. Here is the wick on top. It says, I make the candles where I was born and raised in Ephrat, a small town south of Jerusalem and Bethlehem, surrounded by vineyards and olive groves. I truly hope you enjoy these candles and that they bring you a calming and meditative connection to the Galilee and Israel. That is so cool. Ooh, it smells good too. It just smells like a natural like candle. So uh, beeswax candle. So cool, you guys. They're made using topographical data from radar imaging by satellites. The height was scaled to enhance the details. Our hope is that it fills everyone who sees it with an appreciation and love for the land of Israel and its unique topography. That is so cool, you guys. Um, and it fits perfectly in there. What a neat um, talking point candle, right? That is lovely. And then, oh, look. We got another olive wood. Oh, this is so beautiful. I think this is like, oh, olive wood nativity. It says, perfect to hang on the wall year, all year round and on your Christmas tree carved by a local Bethlehem Christian craftsman. So I don't know if the, uh, what the card that I read to you, if it's from the family Chatra, Chatara, Chatra says hand carved olive wood ornament so it looks like this is the one that i read to you about because that looks like the ones that he's holding in his hands so this may oh, okay so that um was the olive wood nativity that i read to you about george and then we also got this star of david christmas ornament hand carved from the olive trees that have been grown locally for over 150 years produced by third generation locally run bethlehem family business so this is the one from george this is also from a local family both olive wood both nativities both gorgeous and ready to hang on the tree so wow that is so cool and my mom like collects nativities I've sort of made her collect nativities so this one definitely counts I'm very excited to share that with her all right I think that is it for the regular boxes and then we have one final item that was in the premium boxes for me to share with you wow that is so cool so I love all the olive wood stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so this is a Hebrew table blessing runner I don't think that there's a, a, a card for this one. So it says, bless your table with this exclusively designed heat insulating table runner. Interesting. So protecting your table, I guess, with a Hebrew blessing over food at its center. Bring the blessings of Israel to your table wherever you are. So um, I think that this could be enjoyed. This box could be enjoyed by a lot of faiths, not just uh, Christians. So let's see. It says, blessed are you, our God who feeds the entire world through your goodness with kindness and graciousness. So it's a heat runner, insulated, easy to clean, wrinkle free and straightens easy. So it feels like you can guys see it's like rubberized, it's thicker. It feels like um, kind of like a mouse pad, I guess. So now I don't have a big enough dining table where I do a lot of hosting, but uh, this could be a really cool thing to use for other things. Look how pretty it is. So it's a really pretty uh, watercolor. I'm opening it up. Wow. And then we've got some birds. Yeah, it's very much feels like neoprene kind of like rubberized on one side. So it's not going to slide around. Um, but it feels like if it, it pretty much feels like um, a mouse pad. So here is what that looks like. So of course, it's an actual Hebrew. I love that they gave us the uh, translation. And this is what it looks like. So it's pretty long, kind of stretchy. It's definitely going to give some cushion to all those. Uh, so it's a little bit like a built in trivet as well, because it's going to give you some space. I mean, honestly, you could put this like across your desk as well and just have your entire desk be like mouse pad ready, which <laughs> is probably what I would do with it since I don't have a nice dining table. But what a lovely little extra. So let's just go over everything. I didn't get a chance to read to you every single thing, but I think you got a good feeling for this and another lovely collection of items from Artsa. So we got our carob syrup so that we can try our fun uh, cookie recipe. We got our Bedouin tea blend, which is just a ton of it to try. And I love what it said about experiencing the same thing from thousands of years ago. We got our lavender body butter. That's probably the item I'm the most excited about after our beautiful wood nativity our star of david christmas ornament so these kind of go together but this looks like it has enough of a base that you could actually stand it on a shelf as well we also got that lavender toffee with the great story about uh specially abled uh kids teens working behind the scenes there are really really cool candle i've never seen anything quite like that topographical candle and then of course for premium subscribers uh we got this fun table runner honestly like this is the item that i don't have immediate use for but i can see it being a nice additional blessing to your holiday um festivities i'm in love with all of the olive wood and the candle 
and the body butter. But you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was in the and I would love to hear what your traditions are. Maybe tell me about your favorite ornament and why. I would love to hear that from you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing video or maybe in the advent series that is ongoing. See you soon.